Aries, how are you doing this week? Time for mid-September Aries tarot reading. Three card tarot in this reading. And uh, this week we're using, can you guess which one this is? It's the Radiant Rider Weight. Going to have a change from tarot in Wonderland. It will be back soon. But right now, she is in her box over there. And this week we're having Rider Weight. Oh, if I can uh, possibly avoid dropping them. So let us please have three cards for the sign of Aries for mid-September 2019. And we have got, you know what, we've got four. Goodness me, right, it's four, four fell out all at the same time. So, you know, it's got to be four, basically. There we go. Okay, and uh, the significator is the five of wands out of these, I've just been told. Okay, so let's just look at the five of wands first, because this, this will give us an idea where things are going. And people do tend to have been left out in the cold a bit uh, in this situation. Now, the main character here actually belongs inside the warm, cosy building out of the snow. It actually belongs to, to her, but uh, she has to go on quite a journey before she's able to actually get in there. This has a lot to do with other people, uh, as these interactions very often uh, do. It's about other people... And and uh, it's, in some ways, it's about getting what you deserve. In some ways, it's about kind of being treated maybe a bit more harshly than you deserve. Um, an example would be, you know, we're, we're always thinking kind of we're, we're chosen in some way by the angels or God or our life plan or whatever um, to go through certain things in life. And it's kind of all karma. And sometimes we kind of get used to, to help someone else's karma. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. That's what we're talking about. So I'm not looking at this in terms of strict right and wrong here. But uh, certainly the main character in this card has as a rightful place um, the, the right to be inside that building. It's really hers. She's kind of the queen of it. In Tarot in Wonderland, she is, it actually says Queen Alice uh, on the door of the place. OK, so that's the five of pentacles, pentacles, energy, earth, wind, fire and water all working together under the auspices of spirit. And that is um, the significator for this week's Aries reading. Card number one, knight of pentacles, inverted, upside down. Now, this is just about the most powerful knight, uh, but quite a strict character. And look, he's actually, let's just have it the right way up a second, because uh, that's what these readings are all about, turning things the right way up and uh, turning life the right way up as well. Uh, so yeah, he's not really going anywhere. He's waiting because everything does actually need to come together um, before moving on in any re meaningful way. Uh, he's a long, long way uh, away from town or away from anywhere. And I get the feeling, Aries, he's a long, long way away from you at the moment, which is unfortunate because, you know, things do need to get done, but they'll get done in a timely way. The Knight of Pentacles in this reading that I'm doing now uh, represents... To my way of thinking, just basically karma, you know. Um, I mean, if you kind of deserve one kind of karma and it's on its way to you and you, you put it right or you, you realise whatever it was and, you know, you don't kind of need that lesson anymore, that lesson will kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, that lesson will kind of transmute on its way to you and make things different in a very positive way. And, uh, you know, whatever actually reaches us in terms of karma is the energy of the moment. Okay, so uh, time to make changes here. Plenty of time by the look of it, but uh, we don't want to wait forever, do we? Um, I guess if you did, uh, didn't did care about making any progress at all, you probably wouldn't be interested in the tarot. Who knows? Now then, this week, for added significance, we are using Kyle Gray, Keepers of the Light. Okay, I do love this deck, actually. And so I shuffled there and said, please tell us more about the Knight of Pentacles in this reading for Aries. And we've got Hilarion, Divine Healing. He is a wonderful character, a wonderful Ascended Master, who you will no doubt meet if you're on the healing journey um, face to face at some point. But uh, I think we've all met him somewhere in our lives. You know, he uh, is very high up and uh, whatever healing energy comes through has very often either originated with Hilarion or uh, is actually, you know, he's channeling something along the way of, of making things come together. We've got the green emerald there and there's a sort of Merkaba pattern in that as well, Aries. So that is really kind of, well, it's just taking you into that level of energy, basically. A lot of healing in the green, but then... That is what he's all about. And when we speak of healing in the green, it's always good to get somewhere near nature if you can. And I just want to remind people now that, you know, there's a lot of people watching these uh, actually live in the city or somewhere. And they can't just get out into nature. It's not that simple. I've got it just outside my window there. I'm very lucky. But, you know, 
Uh, not everybody can get out into nature, but remember, there is nature kind of underneath all the concrete. It is actually still part of the world we're in. OK, so that would be a good way to spend some time reflecting because you do need to get your thoughts in order, really, for the Knight of Pentacles to get things moving in the most appropriate way. OK, so what is the next card? And they all came out at once at the beginning. Now, this is great. This is the heart of the matter and it's the Ace of Cups and it's the right way up. Right, so water pouring, beautiful sort of holy water, I guess, pouring from uh, this holy dove, which is really showing um, in the Kabbalah, they say um, the tree of life shows how God reveals his goodness to his people. That's the Kabbalistic uh, version of it. And here we have something very like that. We have the holy dove coming down and I see a lot of spirituality in this Ace of Cups actually possibly more than anything else but that depends who's watching this and the uh, the most important interpretation friends is the one you put on it that is always always the case uh, so basically there's more goodness flowing here uh, than will actually fit in the cup and that's great it's not is the cup half full it's not is the cup half empty it's OMG the cup's spilling everywhere um, so there's a great deal of abundance and it is actually although it's spilling over and uh, maybe you feel you're doing a lot of work that isn't maybe having any obvious results. It's spilling over and actually going in to sort of fertilise the general beauty of the lake beneath it and those uh, floating flowers and leaves there. Uh, we could see that as the thousand petal lotus flower of Reiki, actually all kind of divided into bits and floating around. Um, that is kind of, sounds a little bit like... Um, it's a little bit untogether, but that is not really the case because everything to do with healing uh, is not at all fragmented because it's not limited by the laws of physics. But equally, because it's not limited by the laws of physics, it can spread everywhere, you know. OK, so no limits. That's the message there. No limits at all. Uh, looks like there's more goodness coming in than we can handle. Different strokes for different folks, of course, you know, depends who you are. But uh, if it's just that you don't believe you could have the Ace of Cups and all that good luck, then visualise and believe leave it because it's in the air for you this week Aries okay and I'm gonna happen if you don't kind of go out the door and look for it yeah okie okay, so telling us some more about that please uh let me see Kyle Gray keeps the light this week we have got faith Archangel Michael's sister humanity and benevolence and those are the things to remember what else does it say I can't see from there it says, stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others, see the light in the world. Now, there is loads and loads of light in the world, of course, and we are really being reminded of that already when we get the Ace of Cups here. This is just more light, more positivity, more love than you can imagine. But the, the great news about the spiritual path is it does link us to things which are much greater than anything we can imagine, things which kind of... Uh, things which will in some ways outlive us in terms of our physical life here, but things which we are always a part of as we go forward on the journey. So faith is here, you know, saying see the light in the world and it's there. Maybe that's why this is the heart of the matter rather than the outcome card, because we really need to accept that the world can be this good, that we can have this much luck. You know, we... When you've had lots of bad luck in life, it's very easy to uh, get into the habit of believing that you just never will because it, it becomes almost a habit to be unlucky and that's just what you expect. And it uh, makes it really difficult to kind of visualise and, and get anything good going in your life, you know. So kind of force yourself to smile on that one. OK, Aries, and see the light in the world. The third card in this spread, right, Major Arcana, very close to you. Uh, this is number 11 and it's Justice. Yeah, and in lots of ways it's divine justice. Um, but that's that, that that's all in the interpretation, to be honest. But I see the divinity in this. Uh, this basically, see, it doesn't have to be God. Uh, it doesn't even have to be angels. I would say that it's actually both of those things. Um, but this could be your higher self. You know, this could be your job. If you live and breathe your job and you've got a job you love, this could be your job. This is something really important in your life, something that has a governing influence upon you. Uh, creative discipline, you know, something you work for and uh, put up with all the, uh, you know, unpleasant stuff that goes on as well. And uh, that is paying off when we get the king coming in, you know, like that with the sword of justice held in the air. But it is a sword, you know. It does mean that there are decisions to be made. And it actually does mean that decisions have been made by the uh, by the time this 
uh, the, the kind of the time this reading covers, by the time that's coming to an end, that decision will be being made really fully and getting things moving. And that is what, <clears throat> excuse me, is holding up things in terms of the Ace of Cups. That's why that isn't obviously going any place at the moment. So Aries, what are we going to say about number 11, Justice? Um, that's the final card in this reading. And we've got Krishna. It's Devotion. Hmm? Okay, devotion to duty is the first thing that, that springs into my mind there. Um, but really, you know, justice is about that uh, that devotion. You may have put a lot of devotion into something and it hasn't paid off. And maybe that's why you feel that life is going nowhere, Aries. But it is really going places because that devotion always pays off. You know, it's like ripples on a pond. You cannot put love, you cannot put light, you cannot give your heart and your devotion to something without it amounting to something somewhere in the world in some way. We never know exactly how. But love is never a bad thing. And it says here, trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognised. You are loved unconditionally. Trust your spiritual guidance. Well, I would say that, wouldn't I? Because uh, in my humble opinion, I'm uh, being a little part of that just this minute. And if you'd like to hear more from uh, what comes through my guides, uh, please subscribe, tap the bell so you don't miss anything. And check out my channel. There are hundreds and hundreds of readings on there. Pick any one you're drawn to. It's bound to tell you something, even if it's not for your star sign, you know. But uh, yeah, devotion. We've started off right being told kind of see the light in the world. And now we've got your, you are loved unconditionally and your commitment has been recognised. You know, so everything you've been putting in that seems to have come to nothing really is coming to something. It's just very deep purple in this card. And that is because it's deep healing. And that is why things don't suddenly happen immediately. But, you know, we're outside of the laws of times and physics here. We're simply uh, in, you know, we're, we're in the hands of the spiritual realm. So I know that isn't as popular as uh, got kind of, you know, telling you you can have anything you want if you do these manifestational things and pay me a million pounds for my course. It's just, uh, for some reason, that's what people really seem to want at the moment. But the spiritual truth is the journey we're all on, right? And the magic comes out of real life, you know? And I know you guys are very grounded, Aries, so hang on to that, because that's what's going to get you through. Okay, thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you very soon. Uh, have a great week. Leave me a comment. We'll share the journey. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Do subscribe and tap that bell. Take a look at my other videos. Anyone wants to drop me a line, 35AND83 at gmail.com. That is 35AND83 at gmail.com. And I'll be back really soon. Peace.